third graders. Here's our second lesson for this week. We are going to be doing module nine, lesson two, using mental math strategies for addition and subtraction. So you will be able to use mental math strategies to add and subtract with two and three digit numbers. So scientists travel to Yellowstone National Park to study different parts of the park. They drive 203 miles the first day and 437 miles the second day. How many miles do the scientists drive? Show how we could use mental math to find the total number of miles. Use words and equations. So I can see that I have, I'm going to be adding 203 plus 437. So when I look at my numbers, one thing I'm noticing is that I have a three in my ones place and then I have 37 here. And one thing I know about three and seven is that it makes a 10. So what if the first step is to add 37 plus three? And when I do 37 plus three, I know that if I have seven plus three, that equals 10, and I have to regroup a one, which would make 40. So 37 plus three equals 40. And I can see that if I were to do that over here, seven plus three, regroup my one, I get 40, but I can do that all in my head. I don't need to be, I don't need to write that part down. But if you do, that's okay. I'm just showing you a strategy that you can use. So then what do I have left? I have 200 and I have 400. So my second step could be to add 200 plus 400. And when I add 200 and 400, I know in my head that four plus two is six and then zeros added together. So now my third step is to put these all together. 600 plus 40 equals 640. Now let's double check and see if that's right. So if I have 437 plus 203, seven plus three is 10, regroup my one, one plus three is four, and four plus two is six. 640, so it works, right? So a little check mark to show that it works. But I could do some of this work right in my head without having to do the work over here by regrouping. So let's see how that can work. Scientists take photos in different parts of Yellowstone National Park to study bison migration patterns. How many photos do scientists take in Pelican Valley and Gibbon Valley? Draw jumps and label the number line to show your thinking. So we want Pelican Valley and Gibbon Valley. We want to know how many photos they take there. So there's 357 in Gibbon Valley and 233 in Pelican Valley. So we're adding these two numbers together, right? We're adding 357 to 233. So I'm going to start my number line at 357. Now, I have 233. So if I were to jump up by 100, if I were to add 100, I would have 457, right? So I'm just going to write 357 plus 233. Then, so I've used one of my hundreds. If I jump another hundred, that'll be my 200, right? So now I'm at 557. Now, how many tens do I have? I have three tens. So if I jump by one of my tens, which would be 567. The second 10 is 577. I guess I should have put those a little closer together. <laughs> My third 10, 587. And then what do I have left? Now I've got my ones place left. I'm going to add a three. So that would be 590. So when I add these two numbers together, I find out that they take 590 photos in Pelican and Gibbon Valley.
Next question, how many more photos do the scientists take in Gibbon Valley than in Hayden Valley? So this is asking me a little bit different question. This wanted to know how many photos they take in these two combined, right? These two together. Now it wants to know these two valleys, the difference, right? How many more photos do they take in Gibbon Valley than in Hayden Valley? When you see those words like that, that means to subtract. So we want Gibbon Valley, which is 357, and we're going to be subtracting Hayden Valley, which is 138. 357 minus 138. So this time, because our number lines go from smallest to largest, this time because we're subtracting, we need to go from largest to smallest. So we're actually going to start up here. And we're going to start with 357. Now if I look in my hundreds place, I'm going down by 100. So minus 100 would be 257, right? My 3 goes down by 1, so now I have 257. Now in my tens place, I have three tens. So I'm going to go down 110. So I'm going to take 110 away. So my 5 now becomes a 4, 247. Another 10. So my 4 now becomes a 3. And another 10. So my 3 now becomes a two. So I've now I've gone down my tens. Now I'm going to look at my eight. Now one thing I noticed between my eight and my seven, I could go down seven, right? Because that would get me to zero and then I could just do one more or I could just subtract my eight. But I'm going to subtract seven because that'll get me to zero. So minus seven in my ones place, whoops. So that'll get me down to 220, but then I still have one left, minus one, so 219. 20 minus one is 19. So 357 minus 138 equals 219. So there are 219 more photos taken in Gibbon Valley than Hayden Valley. Okay. So now we're going to come to the next page. Now, one thing I want to do is we're not, I'm not going to do this friendly number. I just want to see how you do with just adding numbers. So we're going to cross that right out and we're just going to add 317 plus 45. Okay, so we're going to skip that part right there. We're just going to add over to the side where it's white. So we start in our ones place, right? We always, when we add, we start in our ones place. Then we move to our tens places. Then we move to our hundreds place. So seven plus five is 12. We put our two, we regroup our one. One plus one is two plus four is six and then three. So our answer is 362. And we're gonna do the same thing with the subtraction. We're not going to make these friendly numbers. We are going to subtract 275 minus 149. And again, we always start in our ones place, then we move to our hundreds, then our or I mean our tens, sorry, then our hundreds, we always get bigger. 
So one thing we need to remember when we subtract, if the number on top is smaller than the number on bottom, then we have to regroup. So I'm going to have to go next door to my 7 and regroup one of those 7s, and it's going to become a 6. So then that's going to make this a 15. Because I'm taking one group of 10, and I'm making it, adding it to my ones. So 15 minus 9 equals 6. 6 minus 4 we can do, right? Because this number is bigger than this number. 6 minus 4 is 2. And 2 minus 1 is 1. So our answer is 126. Okay, so we're going to practice. So we have number one. Eli's family drives 112 miles on Sunday and 248 miles on Monday. How many miles do they drive? So they want to know the total number of miles they're going to drive on Sunday and Monday. So that means we need to add our 112 plus our 248. So I'm going to actually, I'm going to come up here, 248. I always like to put the bigger number on top um, just because I have to do that with subtraction. So it's easier for me if I just always put the bigger number on top. So 8 plus 2 is 10. Regroup my 1. 1 plus 4. 5 plus 1 is 6. 2 plus 1 is 3. So they drive 360 miles. Okay, we're going to add down here. I'm actually going to write it over here. 384 plus 22. 4 plus 2, 6. 8 plus 2, 10. Regroup a 1. 1 plus 3 is 4. 406. And then 79 minus 36. 9 minus 6, our top number is bigger, so we're good. 9 minus 6 is 3. 7 minus 3 is 4. So we have 43. Now if you feel more comfortable drawing a number line and doing your subtraction or your addition that way, that is fine. Um, or you can just do your addition and subtraction the standard algorithm way. So we're on to the on your own section. So if you want to do this independently, you can go ahead and um, pause the video and do it yourself and then come back and check your answers. We are going to skip number 12 and number 11. Okay. Trot travels to Washington, D.C. for a business trip. He flies 454 miles changes planes and then flies 326 more miles. How many miles does Trent fly? We're not going to worry about using a number line. If you want to though, you can, but we're not going to. We're just going to, he, we know he flies 454 miles and then he flies another 326. So we want to know how many miles total he travels. So I'm just going to write that problem right here. So we have 454 plus 326. So we know we're adding. 6 plus 4 is 10. Regroup a 1. 5 plus 2 is 7. Plus 1 is 8. 4 plus 3 is 7. So he flies 780 miles. Okay. Now we're going to do some more addition and subtraction. Um, you can just do it off to the side, or if you want to do it on another sheet of paper, a sheet of lined paper, that works as well. So, or non-lined paper. So 46 plus 24. So I'm just going to come up here where there's some blank space. 46 plus 24. 6 plus 4 is 10. Right, group of 1. 4 plus 2. 6 plus 1 is 7. So we have 70. Number six is a subtraction problem. So we have 639 minus 425. Nine minus five is four. Three minus two is one. Six minus four is two. 
214. Number 7 is also a subtraction problem. 953 minus 836. So we can see that our 3 is smaller than our 6, so I need to regroup. So my 5 in the tens place will become a 4, will become 4 tens. So then my 3 in the ones place will become a 13. 13 minus 6 is a 7. 4 minus 3 is a 1. And eight, 9 minus 8 is a 1. So we have 117. Number 8, 499 plus... 121. 9 plus 1 is 10, regroup of 1. 9 plus 2 is 11, plus 1 is 12, regroup of 1. 4 plus 1 is 5, plus 1 is 6, 620. Subtraction, 148 minus 36. 8 minus 6 is 2, 4 minus 3 is 1, 1 minus nothing is 1, so 112. And our last one, 349 plus 263. 9 plus 3 is 12, regroup 1. 4 plus 6 is 10, plus 1 is 11, regroup 1. 3 plus 2 is 5, plus 1 is 6. So we have 612. Okay. So we're just going to be adding and subtracting. Um, there is a number line for number one. If you want to use the number line, you can. But if you don't use the number line and you just do the math, either adding or subtracting, whichever one the problem is asking you to do, you can just do that and then write the answer. Show your work and write the answer. But don't worry about if you don't. If you but if you do want to use the number line, please go ahead. Um, you don't have to explain how you find your answer. Just do the work for number four. And on the back, we're good to go. So you're going to complete the whole um, lesson 9.2, more practice and homework. Take a picture of the front and the back and send it to me at school or send it or drop it off to me at school so I can check it over. Have a great rest of your week and I will see you soon. Bye.